Well, here's to a new year. Hopefully this time I'll have learned that a little preparation would save me headache further down the road. Truth is I never had a problem knowing what I needed to do. I just always seemed to avoid doing it for whatever reason. I just struggled to stay consistent, often having spontaneous spurts of getting stuff done and then the rest of the time just sweeping it all under the carpet in favour of more pleasurable pursuits. Not so fun when you realise that your perpetual procrastination comes back to bite you. And part of me wonders whether there's any point in taking a drug if all it does is stop working after some time and in the meanwhile hounds you with side effects that drive you crazy just so that you can operate at an acceptable level. Now the funny thing about my condition was that it was often invisible, just sitting under the surface if you will. To the untrained eye, I was normal. And a lot of the time I felt like I was pretty normal. Then again, I'd only have to look around at my surroundings and, and realize that even though it was kind of subtle in some ways, it was pretty blatant in others. The only other things that ever seemed to help was good old fashioned exercise. And maybe a little help from supplements, but overall they didn't seem to do much for the most part. Here we go. It's starting to kick in. My hands are freezing. They're so clammy. It feels horrible. I wish I could stop this jaw clenching as well. <sighs> Come on. Why do I always do this to myself? I swear to God, every time. Where is it? When am I going to learn? I can't tell you the amount of times that I've had to return back into the house just to collect something that I've forgotten. For the most part I'm getting better at it, but it still happens from time to time. And that's only because I've developed a sense of urgency through habitual practice on a daily basis. The workplace was another environment that often perplexed me. Everywhere I'd go, they'd always seem to come with it an unprecedented degree of bullshit that one would need to put up with it as an unannounced yet integral part of the job. Continual perseverance would often require copious amounts of caffeine and chunking the day into small segments just so I can keep my sanity. Those bouts of superhuman hyperfocus that others seem to acquire at will only seem to come to people like me when the task at hand brings the utmost joy. Most of the time, however, I'd like to keep to myself just to preserve my mental energy and to protect myself from the woes of workplace drama. Screw all that. If I could just get through the day unscathed, stress-free and a day richer, I was happy. I just don't feel as though I have what it takes to be a husband or a father. I mean, part of me wants to have it, but the other part of me feels like I'd never be able to successfully maintain a family in the long run. I'm just convinced I'm too irresponsible, perhaps just too self-indulgent in my own free time to come and go and do what I please when I want, and I'd be pretty resentful if it were ever taken away from me. Sometimes I just can't block things out and I get overwhelmed. Everything just seems to pile on top of me and I I just get flustered and I, I just struggle to keep together. I really wish I could experience the same level of gratification that I get from playing video games in other areas of my life. Maybe then I might be successful instead of just neglecting things. I'm just tired of being kept awake by my own thoughts every night. You know, my unfulfilled desires, my my philosophical epiphanies and so on. 
I'd often lie there for a solid hour, whispering to myself in a sort of one-man conversation about every scenario under the sun. And then other times I'd just give up, and get out of bed and do something else until I couldn't keep my eyes open. I wish I could just switch off.